Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? This is D-Man, back at it again with another YouTube video. Um, and today, we're going to be going over probably, in my opinion, the best coin-making method in the game. It's going to have a little bit to do with the Team Diamonds and the Barry Sanders set. I'm sure you all know about that. We'll go over the sets, uh, go to the set right quick so I can explain in detail how we're going to be doing this. So, obviously, the master is going to be Barry Sanders, and you have to get, once you complete every, um, each individual set, like Jimbo Cover, Takeo Spikes, all those, it'll give you a token to put in, in the, to this set to get you the Barry Sanders. And as you can see, I've done nothing, none of these, right? Okay. But, I already have done the math. Um, if you were to buy all those cards, obviously it would be more expensive than the card itself that you would get out after the set. You're paying for the card and the token. So what we're going to be doing is get a player packs. Now you're probably going to think I'm crazy, but I promise you guys this is the move because... I'll show you the set you put these in. So right here we're getting a core rookie. A low low tier silver player, okay? So what you're going to do with this player, you're going to take them, you're going to put them into the 66-69 overall set. And you're just going to keep going up until you, get to, until you can get a gold. Okay, so like I just completed this set. I've been doing this over and over. Um, I'm going to get a silver here. And what you're going to be looking for out of the 66-69 sets, or obviously you're going to, you're going to get the... The normal silvers, maybe some rookies, but you're just going to put that into the set there. Alright? Um, but you're, what you're also looking for is some power-ups that might go for a good bit to, for you to break even. Um, and this is going to make the method a hit or miss. If you can get some power-ups out of this, it's going to be much, much... It's going to cost a lot less because once you sell that power-up, you'll get your coins back. Um... And I'm going to open up enough packs, hopefully, to see see if we can get a power-up. Um, you're going to most likely see a power-up out of the 66 to 69 exchange. But if not, you're just going to keep keep putting them into the higher uh, exchange sets. So uh, it's two to get to the 66 69 set. Um, it's going to be a it's going to be a long haul, guys. But I promise, people that make coins, they give time and the effort to do it so this might take you a day it might take you two days it might take you three days depending on how much you want to how long you want to do this but i promise by the end of this uh, as we see we can get a 74 so this is where um you're gonna get a gold and this player may or may not go into one of the sets unless like he does or no he does not so that's the thing, though. But once you get the gold player, you can normally sell him back if he doesn't go back into a into a set. But and then you'll make your coins back and be able to keep re-rolling and re-rolling. But normally you'll be able to pull that gold card and he'll be into the set, and then you keep going and going and going. All right, as we see there, we got a power up out of a get a player pack, which is pretty rare, but that should get our coins back. That should get our coins back from all the all the packs we've already pulled. So we're we're most likely already broken even, and we've already opened up a good bit of packs. Mitch Hyatt, um, we're gonna put him t into the exchange set. And obviously, you want the best pull possible. That way, it won't take you as many packs to get to the the gold player. But, and I probably could go to a different page and get to the we got a player faster. Again, we get another power up, which is very good. Patrick Ricard, a, a gold power up. Um, he probably goes for a little bit. We're, we're probably in profit right now, and we're just gonna keep keep opening these packs. Keep opening these packs up. Um, this is a low silver. We're gonna put him into the exchange set. We just keep doing this over and over. And also, if you're this is all there are other coin making methods out there but this is obviously 
we'll, we'll go over some other coin making methods in a different video. But this one I like the best because, you know, I've already have maxed my level out. I really have nothing else to grind for right now because that really was my coin making method is getting uh, max mutt level. Um, and I've already achieved that. So, um, you know, I have nothing else to do but just rip these over and over and over again. And it might take, it's going to take me a while, but I'll have that set done at the cheapest price possible. Because when you pull these cards, all you do is put them in the upgrade set over and over. And then like you saw, we went two back-to-back -back or two close to back-to-back -back power up pulls, which is going to help us break even. And basically we haven't even, we haven't even spent any, we're still just where we were to start with. So, as we're going to keep pulling these packs, keep getting these players, and, you know, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to take forever, but the people that make coins, like I said before, the people like that make coins, they put in the time and they put in the effort. And again, you can easily just go play a bunch of solo challenges or um, invest in cards on the weekends and resell back in the middle of the week. We'll go over that video i will probably release a video um sometime this week on that method but i you know i should have i should have came out with a video this weekend showing you guys or yesterday buying legend legends low and reselling in the middle of the week um but yeah but back in Madden 20, that's all I did. I had about four, I had up to six million coins at one time. And I was just investing in the market and reselling in the middle of the week. It's really, you just have to watch the market and how it, you got to, I'm not going to do that until maybe three weeks in, four weeks in, so I can get a feel for the market and what it does every week. That way I know when the market's high and when it's low and when I can buy and when I can sell. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to know. That's all you have to do to make coins is watch the market, market watch, and literally just buy and sell, buy and sell. And most of you guys might already have a binder full of silvers, golds, all that. Um, so you could probably just clear out your binder, do some of these sets. Um, and so this, this card is going to Takiyo Spikes right there. So we're going to... Just keep reopening these packs guys. It's gonna take forever, but I promise in the end it's gonna it's gonna work out Once you've done this for a long I was, I was hoping they would come out with a Hoping they'd come out with a um uh, a training offer, but it doesn't look like they have for the for the uh, the theme diamonds, but it, They haven't but that's okay because this is the um the pack where, where it's at right now because you can literally do this without doing the set, and you still make make a lot of coins. But like I said, it's going to take a while. Um, but yeah, that's all there is. And I, I'm going to show you all the exchange sets right here. Um, so y'all can see what, what's going to be, what's gonna what the sets look like that you're putting these cards into. Alright, so here are the sets that you're putting the cards into. You're going to get two low-tiered silver cards to exchange into a high silver card. And then you're going to take that silver card, unless it's a power-up, and plug it into this set. It's going to take three of those to get you a 70 to 74. And out of that set, you might get a power-up. You might get a. You're going to get a card that goes. In, you might get a card that goes into the sets. And if not, you keep exchanging up. And the next set, you 75, 79. Um, and also, when you level up, you can you can see these cards too if they go in the sets or not. Um, yeah, and that's a, that's about it. But this 75 to 79, there could be some cards in there that go for a lot of coins, and you could save a lot of coins that, um, because I know that some of the teams that don't have a lot of high tier players, the gold players in those sets go for a lot of coins, um, just because there's some sleeper gold cards that go for a lot. And if you can get your hands on one of those, you're making bank because you can either resell that or put it in the set. I'll probably hang on. I'm probably going to hang on to all the cards that I have for right now and wait for a, um, wait for a um, training pack. Hopefully they'll come up with a training pack. Maybe not, but 
I'm just gonna hold on to the cards I have and not put in, in into any in, put any into the set. That way I can I know that I'd like I rather I like to hold on to my cards and put them all into the set all at the same time. That's why you saw zero. Um, I probably have maybe five, ten of each team, maybe, um, but I'm holding on to those and just waiting to see what who, what team I have the most of and what cards I need to go buy to finish the sets. And once you finish the set, you also get the player, and the player is going to give you some coins back. So, like I said, I don't know, know what we were at the, in the begin, beginning of the video, but you know we've only spent you know a few thousand coins, and we still have those power ups to sell. We're probably going to break even off of that. So really, I really haven't lost any coins, and I still have five to ten players in each set. I'm just holding on to them, and I like to put them all in, in all at the same time. But like I said, pull, pull the get-a-player packs, 66 to 69, put them in the set. If you don't get a power-up out of this, put it in the set. If you don't get a power-up out of this, look for it to go into the... <clears throat> excuse me. Look for it to go into one of the sets. And then, if it doesn't, you can put it into here. And then, these cards also go into the set as well. So, that's about it for the video. I'll come out with another coin-making method about investing and selling, supply and demand, and all that good stuff. Which, I like that a lot better because this is really boring. And I like to use my brain. And this is really, you, you don't really use your brain for this. You just, you know, open up packs, put them in the set, add a set. Um, and, yeah, but that that's why I like I like the other make, coin making method better but we'll get to that later on this week hope you guys enjoy the video till next time i'll see y'all